It's one of the largest supervolcanoes in the country, and recent work out of the University of New Mexico led to a breakthrough discovery that could help geoscientists better predict an eruption and save lives. News 13's Bello Olage reports. So it's very satisfying to see that come to fruition. Tobias Fischer is a distinguished professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the University of New Mexico, and he's teamed up with a colleague to investigate Yellowstone National Park's volcanic system. Professor Brandon Schmant is really the person who started this project. He's a geophysicist and he wanted to investigate the composition of the magma and where the magma is under Yellowstone and especially how much volatiles are in the magma right now. Fisher says Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption was about 70,000 years ago and there's still an entire system sitting below the park today. Last August, KRQE reported on a localized hydrothermal explosion that happened at the National Park. So the hydrothermal system has all these beautiful geysers and hot springs and mud pots that attract millions of people a year to see the park and see these features. The team study led them to look at earthquakes they produced themselves with a big thumper truck. With that detailed geophysical study, they can make a very nice CAT scan, essentially, of what's under Yellowstone. And they discovered that there is a really gas-rich, volatile-rich cap on top of the magma chamber. Fisher says when volcanoes erupt, they're driven by new magma coming into the system. They use samples from Yellowstone on this machine to learn more. As magma rises towards the surface, gases like water and CO2 exhaust from that magma at shallower levels. Those gases migrate up to the surface and then eventually accumulate at some depth. The group found exactly where that accumulation happens, allowing them a better picture at what's taking place right under our feet. So it's a very detailed image of the quantity of water, the quantities of pores, the quantities of magma, and where exactly it sits under Yellowstone, how big it is. Bella Olage, KRQE News 13. Fisher says that you know, the Yellowstone system is similar to the Valle Caldera here in New Mexico. Although Valle Caldera is smaller, it's a supervolcano that's produced large eruptions roughly a million years ago.